Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nerdy 30s Review. I'm Jason, I'm a PC gamer, and I'm about to have a wildly unpopular opinion. This is going to be really difficult for me to express as someone who's loved and played on PCs for as far back as I can remember, but we've got to be honest with ourselves, we've got to be honest with each other. And that's console gaming is beating PC gaming in three key areas. Price, driver and support, and just ease of play. Now, I, I want to recognize early on that this is a sensitive topic, so I'm going to do my very, very best to tread lightly. And I do also want to have something immediately and just fully understood that in no way am I comparing the performance of the current generation console and that it's anywhere near uh, a high end or even a mid tier gaming PC. That's that's not where I'm going with this. It's a fool's comparison and it's it's not where I'm trying to go. So with that fully understood, I really, really want to. To just relay this, there are some increasingly compelling reasons to game on consoles. So the first and obviously the most important one is going to be price. So with the we're entering our third year of the console's life cycle. So the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. So they're they're largely at um, stock normalcy. So supply and demand have reached some semblance of normality. And so stores are actually sitting on stock of these consoles. And so as such, like they're prone to sales. I've seen a lot of bundled sales that are around MSRP. And I've also seen some that uh, go under MSRP for just the console itself. So that said, like if you were so inclined, you could actually build yourself an entire gaming entertainment system. So that's going to be the PlayStation 5, the Xbox Series X, a 65 inch QLED 4K ultra high definition HDR Samsung TV complete with sound bar for the same price as an RTX 4090. And I mean, if, if uh, the loud ass sandbars are not your thing, you know, you could swap that out for like a, a Turtle Beach or um, a Steel Series Actus 7X and still be at that price range. <laughs> And I, I want to reiterate it. This is a polar comparison. In no way am I saying that a Series X or a PlayStation 5 stacks up against a 4090. Not where I'm going with it. But if I can say that, I think we can admit that that is a pretty sweet setup. Now, if you're the kind of gamer who wants to just sit down in front of whatever your device is and play the newest games released, like the newest, hottest things, the big titles that drop, on launch day, you just want to like take a day of PTO and play it all day. And you want to do so without crashes, without performance issues, or without just like ridiculously strange bugs. Then we all have to admit that it's a pretty rough comparison when we stack PC releases versus console releases. And this year has been especially bad. Any multi-platform game that has dropped for PC as well has done so, so buggy and so undercooked that it has flooded our social media with those apology posts from every game studio. Basically saying, well, we regret that we gave your PC gaming experience the equivalent of food poisoning. Sorry. If they could be honest, what they would say is that console sales a lot for the vast majority of their revenue. So consoles get their development time. Consoles get their development focus. And that's why when those games dropped, largely console gamers didn't have any of those issues. And I'm not saying that consoles uh, are immune to day one bugs or bad performance issues. All I'm saying is that they largely don't have to deal with them as long as PC gamers do. And I'm not ready to talk about game performance on Game Pass. It's just Game Pass for PC. It... Sorry, I, I, just, I just can't. Can we cut? All right, now let's talk simplicity. Ease of play. Games available. Now, these Consoles come out of the box ready to go. Installation is really simple. It 
plugging two things in, charging a controller, and you're off and running. Um, installing my PlayStation 5 along my Nintendo Switch took me all of 10 minutes, and I was loading Miles Morales before I knew it. Now, I've been a PC gamer for as long as I can remember, going all the way back to high school. My very first build was a K62, and I was so excited. It's one of my most cherished memories. It's, it's one of my crowning achievements of high school, and that... That's a little sad. Anyway, so <laughs> needless to say, it was a little alarming that my game time, which is a precious block of time because I've got a full time job, I've got a wife and a child. So like that little block of time when something other than my gaming rig right here takes time away from that, like it requires some analysis. And honestly, with the PlayStation 5, the ease of being able to lay my son down, take the dog for a walk, plonk on the couch with my controller and play incredible titles like Returnal or Horizon Forbidden West or The Last of Us or Uncharted. And like that's just one console in the games for that. Like there are so many more that I'm just not remembering. I mean, the Final Fantasies are, are basically all exclusives of it now, which brings up the next point. First party exclusives. Now, I want to play games as they launch and with the stranglehold that Sony and Microsoft are like grasping all these new IPs and studios, like it almost just makes logical sense to have one if you want to play these. And I mean, your only other option is waiting for Sony to feel generous and say, okay, PC gamers, it's been about three years and we think we want to do a remake of this game so you can have it now. And that makes me sad. It really, really does. But all that really is to say is if we're missing out on so much, there are so many great titles out there that we would be missing if we continue to just turn our noses up at consoles. Not a wrap up here. In no way am I saying that you need to scrap your gaming PC and sell the components off to the Bay of Fleas so you can buy a couple of consoles. That's, that's not what I'm getting at here. I, I love PC gaming. I love PC building. To me, there's nothing in the world like seeing all of your components laid out in a mod mat and just taking in that potential. There's something beautiful about that. There's something that I'm always, I'm al basically, I'm always going to be a PC gamer and a PC enthusiast, and I'm going to always want to see the PC gaming community continue to grow because it's a beautiful thing. And I'm not saying that it's it's all sunshine and rainbows over in console lands. Like between that cold war that we've got on between Microsoft and and Sony, like gobbling up all the IPs and all the studios and like studios are like chopping off divisions that make quality games so they can be more marketable to Sony. Very <laughs> next. And there's a lot wrong there. And I mean, these consoles themselves are three years old and are already struggling to, to provide the bandwidth to run new games and to keep up with new gaming technology. And I mean, if we're honest, like Microsoft just outright said, there's not gonna be a pro variant for the Xbox Series X. So if you wanna play Starfield higher than 30 frames per second, well, you best keep that gaming PC. All I'm really trying to say here is gamers, Let's be honest with ourselves. Be honest about what we want, what we need, what we're really trying to get when it comes to gaming. If a console provides everything you need, if you can just sit down at the end of the day with a controller and a beverage that you're not scared or <laughs> worried of um, spilling on your keyboard and, and you can just enjoy the games you want to enjoy, then, then that's fine. And, and that's not to say that that those games wouldn't look better or perform better on a gaming PC in optimal conditions, because we know that they will. That's, that's not what we're debating here. What we're trying to say is, like, reflect on it a little, you know? And, I mean, next-generation gaming consoles are looking pretty darn good. They're, they're getting close. They're getting close to that kind of visual fidelity. Like, if you've not played... Horizon Forbidden West um, PC, PS5 exclusive uh, DLC, Burning Shores, just give it a look. Watch some 4K gameplay on YouTube or something and tell me that doesn't look amazing. I'm, 
I mean, that's that's uh, those are my rambling thoughts. I'd love to hear yours. Um, would you make the switch, honestly, or would you have like a little low key console thing on the side? I mean, I wouldn't judge. No judgment here. Um, <laughs> that said, uh, if you enjoyed my rambling, uh, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, um, post your thoughts down below. I'd love to have some interaction there. I love how our community is growing. You guys are a beautiful body of people, and I really appreciate all of the interaction. So thank you so much. I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.